doing, Zach? I'm gonna put that on the video. I hope you know that. What? <laughs> no, you're not. Yes, I am. Does this look cute? Mm hmm. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Aww. Okay, there. There's the. the uh... The pregnancy update. The pain. 15 weeks. <laughs> what did you ask okay. me to do? Can I blink? <laughs> Can you wink? I mean, I hate pain. <sighs> Hello, my loves. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Zach, stop. Right, you know how you always start off your intro? You say, Hello, loves. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel. That's what you always say. <laughs> Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel and this is my love, Zach. We're going to be doing a Q&A today for you guys since you guys want to know some questions really, really bad. So we're going to we're gonna answer the questions that are like mainly asked. First question is, who's the most sensitive in the relationship? That has to be Zach. <laughs> Zach is a really, honestly, he's the most sensitive in the relationship, like more emotional. And I really love that about him because I can be like really kind of like, not cold hearted, but like I hide my feelings a lot and I don't show my feelings because y'all know why. But yeah, I kind of like just stand my ground. That's the way I see it. I'm just standing my ground and I set my boundaries. No, yeah, we both we both know that I'm the most sensitive in the relationship. Mm -hmm. But it's it's complicated because it's it's hard to explain because I feel like I I have to be like kind of like that because of the way that she she's not she's not sensitive at all. <laughs> like there is certain stuff that she is sensitive to, but not a lot. But yeah, all in all, I'm the most sensitive. He's the most sensitive. But she's sensitive too. She just hides it. <laughs> she is sensitive. Does Zach get along with Angel? <laughs> Do you get along with Angel, babe? <laughs> no. Actually... Angel doesn't get along with Zach. That's, yeah, let's just leave it at that. <laughs> Next question is, do you consider your baby will come out with Zach's eye color considering the genetic chances? Honestly, I have like constant dreams about our, about our baby being a girl and I always dream about her coming out with colored eyes, but I honestly think it's going to come out with my eyes. Yeah, well, my genetics run strong in my family, like my dad, every, everyone on my dad's side of the family has colored eyes, everyone. And your family has colored eyes too. Yeah, my grandma has colored eyes, my aunts have colored eyes. So it's a good chance. So it's a good chance, but <clears throat> yeah, it's kind of like of a slim chance it'll come out with colored eyes. I don't know, cause I don't want to get my hopes up. <laughs> well, don't get your hopes up. But... <laughs> but either way, I'll be happy. Next question is, what's one thing y'all do when y'all argue? <laughs> One thing when we argue is I will like shut down completely. Yeah, and I won't talk to him. Completely shut down, shut me out, close everything. Like she will drop contact with everybody and including family. She will close herself out and not do anything. But between us, I do not like that because I want to talk about it and even Especially if it's not because of me. Like, if it's not because of me and you're mad, like, I want to talk to you about it. And, yeah. I don't like to talk about it simply because, like, when we argue, 
I don't want to keep arguing because I know myself and I know I'll say things like really really mean things that I like really really feel like deep inside that I kind of mean but I don't mean so like at the end of the day it's like don't talk to me when I'm mad or when we're arguing because I will say some mean things and you will be really hurt <laughs> and it makes me feel so bad <laughs> And he doesn't understand that because he just wants to talk about it right away and that's not me. You know, so. What we do when we argue is I just ignore him until I'm ready to talk. So irritating. What was your reaction to finding out you're pregnant? We just like looked at each other. That's, that's exactly what I did. Yeah, so at first it was surprising and then. Yeah, like at first we were like, I'm pregnant. That's crazy. But then we were like, yeah. Like, we were both shocked because it just came at us just like, boom. So we were shocked, but like, eventually like we just thought about it and we we're happy. Mm -hmm. What's been the biggest struggle for both of you during this pregnancy? My biggest struggle has been my mood swings and the nausea and the irritation and the stress that comes from school, I guess you can say. I think my biggest struggle is her biggest, like, if you know what I'm saying, it's her biggest struggle. Like, I struggle knowing that that's what she's going through, you know? Like, when every day she's nauseous or tired or something like that, like, that's my struggle because I want her to be happy and up and ready to go and this and that not throwing up every day or going out to a restaurant and having to go to the bathroom and to throw it so that's my show does that get along with your kids zach gets along with my kids joseph loves zach marilyn loves to be with us when zach is over we love to watch movies together we love to play together so zach gets along with my babies and Joseph loves to give him kisses and hugs, and he loves to play with him and jump over him. Talk and to me. <laughs> talk to him. All day. Yes. About anything. <laughs> anything at all. Yeah. He be like, Zach, 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 <laughs> Zach, Zach. Oh, and like, when Zach is over, my kids will not ask me for a single thing. Like, if they need something, they'll be like, Zach, can you get me a napkin? <laughs> Zach, help me clean Zach, this up. Yeah. Help Zach, can you bring me toilet paper? <laughs> I'm just like, yeah. Got it. Like, literally, Zach will be their mom for the day. <laughs> just about. And it's the funniest thing ever. But I like that, too, because I could give her a break. So, <laughs> when I'm over, she could just lay down and I could take care of stuff and uh -huh. whatever the kids need. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, so she she could just rest because she's been tired real tired. How does Zach feel about being a daddy for the first time? Love you, by the way. Oh, we love you too. How do I feel about being a dad for the first time? I'm really really excited. <clears throat> like, I would have never have thought to be a dad this early, but now that it's here, I'm not like I'm not scared. You know, I mean, I'm really excited and I know what has to be done and I know what I need to do for my baby and what I need to do for her and our family and everything. It's just, it's a learning experience. It's, you know, you come to reality and you got to do what you got to do. That's about it. I'm excited. Who asked who out? Actually... Don't get me started on that. We started working together back in November of 2017. Mm -hmm. And um, what's it called? Because we, we dated before. We dated before, but then we, bro we broke up. But like he came back to California, we got back together. When um, we started working together. The reason why I noticed he was acting weird was because he would see guys flirting with me when we worked together. Mm -hmm. And when we would like, when it was time to leave, 
you know, to clock out, we were done for the day. He was like, I can't believe you were flirting with him. And you really did this. You and really we did that. And, and we weren't even together. I was like, hold up. I was like, you can't tell me nothing, boy. I was like, your phone is getting blown up like 20 times a day. I was like, don't come in trying to tell me nothing. Like, mm -mm. So that's how I noticed he was like starting to like, you know, want to like get back with me or like have some sort of feelings for me or how did you feel it was just so like I, he was so jealous i came back to california because like he saw that guys were into me no yes no, that's not the reason why what was the reason i came back to california right and so okay i i went to iowa i was there for about <laughs> three months came back to california and then me and her started working together and it just felt like like at first I didn't want to front it like I wasn't like <laughs> I wasn't gonna be like oh like you know like how we were and stuff kind of thing but when I came back I was like oh Iris and da 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 and we started working together seeing each other every day going to work so I'm starting to like you know like get everything back to me <laughs> because it was three months so I was like you know and then i see her again and we're at work and there's guys just staring at her and i'm like like at this point in my mind i'm i'm, I'm trying to make a move like and she doesn't know it but I'm, I'm i'm plotting on making a move the the grand scheme is to make a move so when i see guys lies. talking <laughs> it's not lies that's not lies at all when i see guys talking to her i'm like Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm not about to let this unfold in front of me. <laughs> nope. I am not about to let this happen. I'm, I'm going to make it clear to her, like, no, I want to be with you. At the end of the day, he was like, no, Iris, like, you don't understand. Like, we've been working together for the longest time ever, and I, these feelings are coming back, and then we talked about it, and then he, like, basically told me we're together, and I was like, well, you haven't told me that I'm your girlfriend, so you better ask me out. So he said, do you want to be my girlfriend? I was like, sure. And then, yeah. Sure. <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> and, yeah, we got back together. Would you guys want more kids in the future? Of course. Yeah, we want more kids. Of course. We want a big family. How much, how much do you want? What'd you tell me? How many? <laughs> what did I tell you? How many? How much did you <laughs> What did I tell you? Huh? What did I tell you? You want Seven. <laughs> Seven. I want a lot of kids. Will you be doing a gender reveal? I'm pretty sure we're not. No. Because we're so impatient. Like, I really together. just want to know. We I just want to know. I don't have the patience to wait. She doesn't mm -hmm. have the patience to wait. We want to find out now. Mm -hmm. So maybe we might do like a little gender reveal for you guys. Like for my YouTube, but not for us. Huh, babe? Yeah. Did I just take this out of your beard? <laughs> I just took this out of his beard. <laughs> you probably put it in my beard. No, I didn't. You're always touching my face. You probably picked it up and put it in How does that react when you told him that you already had two children? <clears throat> well, she actually didn't tell me. If you go back to our How We Met, How we met video, I went to an area, the first place we met. <laughs> went to the first place we met, the V, and... She was there, and Marilyn and Joseph was there, and... Yeah, I, I, it was me, Normie, Marilyn, and Joseph, and then, like, yeah. So I acknowledged that she already had two kids. She didn't have to tell me, and then, I mean, I don't mind. I grew up, I grew up with a stepdad, so to me, it's not a big deal because my stepdad is someone I look up to. It's my role model. It's, <clears throat> you know, this and that. So, if I could be put in that position, I want to be put in that position because oh, I put him over my real dad, you know? So, if I could do that for Joseph and Marilyn, then, you know, I feel like I'm doing something good. I want to be a role model. 
anymore, babe. Does your family ever say anything about him not being Hispanic? No. When I first showed my mom a picture of Zach, she was like, oh, he's handsome. You know, because... So you're always touching my face. She's always, like... She's always, like, thought, like, white guys are cute. Like, That's like her whole family, though. <laughs> her whole family is like, oh, yeah, white guys. <laughs> white guys are where it's at. <laughs> Biggest pet peeve about each other. <sighs> her temper. My biggest pet peeve about Zach is that he will blow the fuck out of my phone. That's my biggest pet peeve. And I get so mad. Like, <laughs> I'll literally <laughs> vlog him. <laughs> she does, and it's... Okay, yeah, you wanna know my pet peeve is you blocking me every <laughs> single time I try to talk to you. That is my pet peeve. No, it's cause you blow my phone up and I don't like that. Well, <laughs> all you gotta do is just reply. Does Zach want a boy or a girl? I, to me, it doesn't matter. I could have a boy or a girl. I'm gonna be as happy with the boy and as happy with the girl. That's it. Hmm. But yeah, her. that's the end of our Q and A, guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you answered most of your guys' questions. And thank you guys for asking all these questions for us. And we love you guys so much. We'll see you guys in our next video. Bye.